Valley. This is 8 News Now This Morning with Dave McCann, Dana Roselli, Neighborhood Weather with Sherry Swift, and Beat the Traffic with Brian Moffitt and Ken Smith. Your morning begins. Well, back here in the Valley, Southwest Medical Center is helping patients live a normal life without even going to the doctor's office. Janet O shows us the high-tech health care that's treating patients in the comfort of their own homes. I don't feel like I'm 16. And by all means, Jovaldi Kimball doesn't look his age. He's healthy and active, but it took some time and effort to get his health back on track. He's always in the hospital, uh, always in the clinic. Um, sugars are out of whack. Doctors say without proper care, his diabetes could spiral out of control, leading to kidney and heart damage, even paralysis. But there was an even bigger concern. At age 50, Kimball found out he had another disease, this one more rare. I'm blind, and I have a, a retinitis pigmentosa and glaucoma. It added to the stresses of taking care of himself since health is limited. Nurses come in once a month to organize the pills he needs to take every day. This is morning and this is afternoon. The solution seemed fairly simple. Kimball's doctor recommended he try out telemonitoring. The telemonitoring is uh, a technology where uh, medical people, medical staff, nurses or doctors, can in real time watch the patient's health. Good morning. It is now time to record your vital signs. Every day, Kimball goes to his room to get a reading on his heart rate, oxygen levels, weight, and blood pressure. Blood pressure? One hundred and seventy. Wow. Oh, wow. It sends a data to a registered nurse who looks for anything out of the ordinary. Red is there needs to be an intervention. Something's wrong. Green is good. Go. Thanks to this technology, Dr. Patrick Tickman says he can catch early warning signs. You cannot totally 100% fix it but at least it's prevented from getting worse and gives them the quality of life. And it seems to be doing just that. Dr. Tickman says in the past six months, he's noticed a dramatic decrease in hospitalization. Well, it's very important because as people are aging, as seniors, they're always sick. It has made my life easier. These days, Kimball counts his blessings. He can live an independent, healthier lifestyle, doing what he loves best. I'm going to cook a turkey and dress. I have my... Uh, Cornbread mix and stuff here. I still get compliments on the things that I made. Janet O. 8 News, now. Good for him. Oh, no. 400 patients have a device now, but the goal is 500 by the end of the year. Well, that's doing good. Yeah, right now United Healthcare Group and its subsidiaries are the only insurance that pays for the treatment in Las Vegas. So, there you have it. Good story. Yeah, late night drug 